With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy. The same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? We call this Land of the Gunhawks. It's one that took place a long ways from the old Bar 20. Owen Lomax, the son of an old friend of mine, had gotten into a shooting scrape and hit the Owl Hoot Trail, not knowing that the man he'd shot recovered and cleared him. Owen's dad asked me to try and bring the boy back before he got into real trouble. Owen's trail led into the Cherokee Strip, the Indian Territory, where outlaws from all over the West took shelter. California and I finally tracked him through the Badlands to the town of Lance, the headquarters for Three Jacks' gang of bandits. Wow, we charge and water country. Nothing but engines and outlaws and rocks. And Owen Lomax, California. If he rode in to join Three Jacks gang, he'll be in Lance. That's their hangout. Yes, sir. Nice sociable country with bandits for leading citizens. Oh, <laughs> stop complaining. We'll probably have a nice peaceful visit. Somebody shooting rabbits? And uh, these badlands, it's more likely someone shooting men. Those shots are coming from over that rise. Wait here and I'll take a look on foot. See, Hoppy. Four hombres ganging up on one man down in the basin. Looks like they shot his horse. Four to one. That's kind of tough odds. I was thinking the same thing. Let's even it up a little. Unlibber your gun, California, but shoot over their heads. We don't want to plug anyone until after we know what the play is all about. Well, <laughs> look at them scamper. Yeah, they don't act like four to three are good odds. Let's get down and see who we rescued. Hi, stranger. What was the shooting about? Buenos dias, senores. You have arrived in time to save my life, you think. I am Don Patrick Manuel Brian Estevano Flaherty, Italia Ferro, at your service. Sir, uh, all of that are you? Si, senor, but you can call me Don Patrick. I think I will accompany you if you are headed toward Lance. But your horse has been shot. <laughs> it is but the little trick we play. Yevete, senor Cleveland. Your horse is named Cleveland? After your great presidente, senor. Like him, me caballo is good at the running. Oh, Hoppy, do we have to listen to his jokes? No, we don't. Maybe you'd better ride on by yourself, Don Patrick. For me, that is fine. But you need my help. This town of Lancet has a bad habit, senores. Ah, bet. What is it? You? Senor, please. It is that for men of honest face like yourself, Lance has the habit of arranging special welcome. Yeah? Uh, you mean like a dance? I mean like the murder. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Land of the Gunhawks. Trailing Owen Lomax to the Cherokee Strip Badlands, Hoppy and California bring news they hope will make him return home. But as they near the town of Lance, hangout for Three Jack's gang of bandits, they are delayed by the rescue of Don Patrick O'Flaherty, who warns them that Lance has no welcome for any but outlaws. So, senores, if your occupation is not dishonest, I would suggest you do not reveal it in Lance. I have the idea you will be compadres of mine. I will tell the town of Lance that you are Wild Bill Cassidy, bad man from the Big Bend country, and you, viejo, will be Fingers Carlson, the horse thief. Hoppy, did you hear that? I'm going to shoot him, so help me. Uh... <laughs> yeah, easy, Fingers. Don Patrick has a good idea. If Three Jacks thinks we're just another pair of outlaws, we'll be a lot safer until we locate Owen. You must be very careful. No one knows this Three Jacks. You mean this Three Jacks has never been seen? Not by anyone who lives, except his straw boss, Link Schofield. No one has seen Three Jacks without the mask. Then uh, even you may be him. If so, senor, you're as good as dead men right now. 
But look, we're coming into town. See? Lance has put up this signpost. I can see. Lance, population 340 Indians, 61 white men, and four sheriffs dead. Ah, there's Don Patrick Calop. I'm Mean Fingers. Let's join him. Uh, right, Papi. Uh, I'm Wild Bill Cassidy. Don Patrick, you get thirsty too? Si, senor. What will you have? Sarsaparilla for me. But of course. Bartender. Yeah, friend. What's the poison? For me, amigo, one. Uh, senor Cassidy. Yeah? Tell me my ears are no good. What was your order? Sarsaparilla. Then I did hear right. Uh, perhaps it is better if you order for yourself. Wild Bill from Big Ben. <laughs> uh, bartender, give us a couple of sarsaparillas. You can call me weepy, but I ain't got no sarsaparilla. And uh, maybe you got water? Why? You dirty? Uh, well, I... Uh, oh, what's the use? Uh, I'll tell you what, weepy. We'll settle for an introduction to Link Schofield. Introduction? Well, I'll tell you. If you turn and spit, you'll sure hit him. Only I wouldn't advise it. Because he can throw that knife he's playing with through a knot hole at 20 paces. Amateur. What? <laughs> hey, Schofield. Yeah? This caballero says you're an amateur with that knife. How about a match? He does, huh? Sure, Don Patrick. What'll it be for? Money or chalk? Shall we say a thousand dollars, senor? A thousand. Hey, weepy, you've been feeding this guy too much rot gut. My <laughs> pardon, senor. I thought you wished a wager. If it is sport you want... Oh, that's sunny. If you can show a thousand, you got to bet. And if you can't, I'm liable to slice those pretty ears off to teach you not to brag. It would be the dangerous lesson to teach, senor. But to save your life, I will obtain the money. Watch, Weepy. I'll bet I can sink this knife right through that spot on the back of the shirt. Hold it, Schofield. You throw that knife and I'll give you some lead with it. Oh, I forgot. You're his compadres, aren't you? Just drop the knife, then we'll get friendly. I never like to drop it. Might break the handle. But I'll put it away. And don't get the idea your gun counts for much. Those guys at the tables have had you covered since you walked in. Oh? Well, in that case, end of hostilities. The gun's up. Uh, by the way, I don't think you've introduced me to your friend. <laughs> you have got a nerve. Maybe my friends won't like that. Want a bet? <laughs> you know, I have a hunch you're going to be an asset to Lance Cassidy. Either that or you're going to get awful dead. All right. Right to left. Slim, Tony, and Big Ear. Next table. The kid, Soapy and Vic. In the back, playing cards, Tennessee, Pete, and Frenchy. Sweet bunch of cutthroats. What the hell did you pick them out of? Oh, now you're starting to ask questions, Cassidy. Lose the habit. Yeah? What happens if I don't? <laughs> I think I see what you mean. Uh, Hoppy, when do we leave? Why, Fingers, didn't you enjoy our visit with Mr. Schofield? I uh, never was so darn scared in my life. That grinning ape talks too soft, and those fellas sitting around holding guns on us. Hoppy, my knees were knocking so hard, a plumb near fell down. What? Oh, like California. With those bow legs, you could knock your knees if you had to. But at least we did find Owen Lomax. We, uh, we found, Hoppy, you've been out in the sun too long. No, it was simple. Most of Three Jack's gang were there, and only one young enough to be Owen. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, the sprout with the floppy hair. The one Schofield called the kid. It's Owen. Looks a lot like his dad, too. Oh, doggone it, Hoppy. I get bad feelings about this whole thing. Ah, take it easy. Well, we came back to the shack. We can see the saloon from here. If the kid comes out alone, I'll ease out in Shanghai. We may be out of this town with the job done today. I hope so. I'd sure like to be heading home. Here. Here, take a look. Isn't that the kid walking toward the cafe across the street? Where? Uh, yeah, sure is, Hoppy. And he's all by his lonesome. Stay here. I'll get him. Hey, kid. Kid. Yeah? Oh, it's you. What do you want? I'd like to have a little talk with you. Come into the shack. Well, sure. What's it about? In a minute, kid. Yeah, hey, that, that was a nervy thing you did, Brayson Schofield. I wouldn't be surprised if Three Jacks invited you to join us. That would be good. Well, you must be joking. 
Well, he's got the best gang in the whole territory. Hiya, Fingers. Uh, what? Uh, oh, uh, howdy, kid. Sit down, Owen. You're going to listen to a little straight talk. Sure. Hey, what did you call me? Owen. That's your name, isn't it? Owen Lomax. We trailed you here. What? The, the law. You're the dirty, stinking law. We're friends of your dad, who just happens to be a man that doesn't deserve the heartache you've given him. Oh, I get it. You're a preacher. Well, go on. Sing me a psalm. Look, maybe you had reason to think the cards were stacked against you. But the man you shot didn't die. He recovered and has admitted it was self-defense. So you can come home now. You through? Maybe Hoppy is, but I ain't, youngster. We've ridden a lot of miles and stuck our necks into a lot of danger to give you this chance to go straight, and by heck, you're gonna take it. Oh, man, you got a big surprise coming, if that's what you think. <laughs> oh, wait till three jacks hears about you guys. Er, you mean you're gonna turn us in after we come to save your hide? I sure would, mister. Hoppy, we can't let him go now. I know it, California. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. You can stop the bluffs. You wouldn't dare pull anything off here in the middle of Three Jacks Town. Son, you'd be surprised at what I'd dare. Sorry you couldn't see it our way, but I guess you will in time. Excuse me, I... Hey, what... <laughs> Well, he'll be quiet till we're ready to pull out. Rustle up our horses as quick as you can. Right, Huffy. Now, I'll just horse you over on the bed, kid. California! Huffy! Huffy! Two fellas were just clubbed right across the street. Sure, for a moment I was afraid it was you. They come riding up to the hitch rack and the shotgun let go from between those buildings. Better go get our horses. We want to get out of here as quick as we can. Uh, right, Hoppy. Senor Cassidy. Hi, Don Patrick. What's the shooting about? It looks as if still another person takes the hand in my affairs. Those two men who were shot were part of the group that attacked me this morning. Who shot them? Ken Savi. I can ease your mind, gents. The killer was three jacks. He told me he was going to get those men who were trespassing in his territory. Three Scorpio. jacks don't like... Scorpio, grab him! Uh, oh! All that, Cassidy... I'm Patrick, cover him. Si, senor, but what is this? He's a lawman, Schofield. He and his pal came to take me back to hang. But you must be mistaken, kid. They saved my life this morning. They're law, I tell you. Thanks, Owen. Oh, shut up. Schofield, they're not outlaws. And he knocked me out. Look at my jaw. I slump. Cassidy, you're in trouble. Get his guns, kid. Sure, sure. While you're at it, Owen, take a look at those men three jacks just bushwhacked. Your brave idol is just a plain murderer. Shut up. Kid, hand me one of those guns. Thanks. Now, Cassidy, I'm going to teach you not to talk so much. Like this. Wait, I... Oh. Feel good? <laughs> I used to be pretty good at pistol whipping. Uh, senor, maybe this uh, three jacks, he not like this. <laughs> I don't think he'll mind. But take him and lock him in the shack for now. Kid, get the boys and round up the old geese and throw them in with this one. I'll check with three jacks to see what to do with them. Oh, Cassidy, uh... I wouldn't make any long-range plans if I were you. <laughs> no, sir. I sure wouldn't. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Land of the Gunhawks. Hoppy and California have really met up with the bad men of the town of Lance while searching for Owen Lomax, son of a friend of Hoppy's, a young lad who apparently has gotten in with a band of outlaws. Both Hoppy and California are prisoners of Link Schofield at present, with little or no chance of escape. Morning. Reckon you could do with a little breakfast. Morning, Weepy. You the jailer as well as bartender? Uh, me? I'm anything they want to use me for. Folks take advantage of a sick man like me that's not able to ride and fight like the others. Here, I'll get it down. Hey, that sure smells good. Uh, uh, what you feeding us for? Fattening us up for the kill? Now, I'm the guy you should ask. How should I know? Where's Schofield? We've seen no one since yesterday. What's going on? That's right, badger me. I ain't got enough troubles with my back ailing me again. And the doc says I gotta go to bed for a week. But you guys gotta badger me. Well, you must know something. You know, we can pay you. Huh? You can. Here's twenty dollars that's yours if you'll tell us what's being planned. Hmm. Right pretty, these gold pieces. Well, reckon won't hurt to tell you. 
Seems that Schofield is getting the gang together for a raid. Three Jacks decided you're to ride with them. One way, that is. Yeah? Where's the raid going to be? Some town in Texas, just across the border from the territory, named Colville. Uh, but that's all I know. You hombres best eat hearty. You got a lot of riding to do. <laughs> and I guess a lot of dying to do. I'll pick up the tray later. Morning, Wavy. How's the prisoners? Tolerable, Schofield. Tolerable. Sleep well, gents. Oh, fine. Nothing like the prospect of being murdered to make you rest easy. I wish I could get my hands on that double-crossing kid. You better wish for a bulletproof gizzard, old man. You two are joining our raid into Colville. Three Jacks figures maybe they'll throw suspicion off our gang when they find your bodies. So eat fast. We ride in 20 minutes. We are not far from our destination, senores. Don Patrick, where are all these riders coming from? We seem to pick up a half a dozen at each turn of the rocks. It is the combination of many small outfits, senor. The idea of three jacks. He intends to wipe out the town of Colville completely. The whole town? He's plum loco. Is he, senor Carlson? Take a look. There are over 60 men in this bandit army now. Given the advantage of surprise, they will take Colville by storm. Long before resistance can be made. Hey, Don Patrick. Untie Cassidy and Carlson's hands and feet. I want to give those rope marks enough time to disappear before their bodies are found. A kid! Yeah? Scout on ahead and see how the land lies. We want to pull us attack just before sunup. Right, Schofield. We must be closer than I thought. The time draws near. Yeah. Who's to be our executioner? It is said that three jacks will appear during the battle. Your death is to be his pleasure. Turn, have ever heard of such a bloodthirsty galoot as this three jacks? Si, senor. Uh, there. You are untied. Now, if you will excuse me, I have the words to make with senor Scofield. California, we have to warn that town. We can't let them be massacred like this. Well, sure, I know, Hoppy, but we're due to get massacred a little ourselves. Uh, how are we going to warn them? I'm going to try a break. When we hit that ravine ahead, there should be cutoffs in it. When we come to one, I'm going to make a run for it. In this dark, I might make it. Right, Hoppy. I'll rear my horse and try to confuse them a little. We're entering the ravine. Get set. I think I see a cutoff. Hold up, everyone! Hold up! I guess I'm not leaving. Sophie! You and Big Air take the prisoners up front. Put ropes on their horses just in case they get any bright ideas. Right. Colville's just over the next hump, men. Now check your guns. We'll go in just as soon as a kid brings us the okay. All right, all right. You take the old buzzer, Big Ear. I'll dab my loop on Wild Bill's horse. Senor Schofield, three jacks he's coming soon. He'll be here to take care of those two prisoners. The young one, he's late. Perhaps all is not well with the plan. Well, a kid would have signaled if anything was wrong. If you don't get back before time for us to move in, it'll be his hard luck. You'll get caught smacking a crossfire, and it'll serve him right. Look, Senor Schofield, the moon, she's starting to hide her face in the clouds. Yeah, that's what we want. All right, get set, men! I'll have to try it on foot, California. I can't take the rope off Topper, and we can't wait any longer. Right, Hoppy, I'll do my part, but before you go, I... I, um... What? Oh, nothing... Just take care of yourself. Thanks, partner. So long. Hey, come back. He's making a break. Hey, hey, country can you hey. Something a fool. I told you to keep alert. Tennessee, big ear. Drill him when he tops that hump. Hoppy, hoppy, keep down. There he is. Get him. You got him. He's down. Why, you low down, dirty killers. You... Something slap this guy. Yeah. Hey, no. Uh, uh, good. That'll keep him cool. Now, Patrick, get over there and make sure Cassidy's done for us. See, si, Senor Scoville. So be you stupid lunkhead. It'll save you right if three jacks gives it to you along with Carlson. Oh, how was I to know he'd try a stunt like that? Senor Scoville, we do not have to worry about Cassidy. He done for? See, si, he caught one dead center. He was dead when I raised him. Good. No shoe shots mean we can't wait for the kid any longer. Sophie, stay with Carlson. Three jacks will be along pretty soon. He'll take over. Right. All right, men. Let's go calling. (laughs) 
Uh, well, you coming around, Carlson? Uh, uh, Hoppy. How's Hoppy? Ah, oh, forget him. He's dead. And I reckon you will be, too, pronto. Just as soon as they... Three jacks! Yeah, I'll take over, Soapy. Now look at the hero, masked and carrying a scatter gun. A very effective weapon, my friend, as you will see. Soapy, go join the others. The attack should hit Colville any time now. Sure, Three Jacks, sure. Well, goodbye, fella. Give my regards to the devil. Well, Fingers, how are you feeling? Huh? Ah, hear my boys? Well, well, get it over with you, murdering rattlesnake. Uh, don't be so anxious. I like to enjoy these moments. Well, I hope you enjoy the one when they hang you. Oh, quiet, will you? I'm listening. Uh, that shooting seems awful heavy. Sounds like the town is putting up a fight. I hope they get the whole gang. Blast it. Shoot it and be done with it. Very well, if you insist. Hey, wait, who's that? Sophie, what's up? Three jacks! Three jacks, we've got a hot tail of sudden. The town was warned. Our gang's being slaughtered. What? Well, that's impossible. They must have rode smack into a trap. I saw what was happening and got away. Well, now, how do you feel now, Three Jacks? Shut up, you. Hey, Sophie, hit for the territory. Three Jacks, I ain't stopping until I hit Canada. This country's going to be too warm for my blood after tonight. So long. Yeah, perhaps he's got a good idea. I think maybe I'll head for there myself. Just as soon as I take care of you, Carlson. Which is right now. Say your prayers. Here it comes. Do it! Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. I'm shot. Yeah, shot. Hmm. Funny, uh, I don't feel a thing. Uh, I must be dead. Uh, California, it's me, Hoppy. Then I am dead. Uh, Hoppy? Uh, this sure ain't heaven. Uh, you mean we're in... <laughs> California, you aren't dead. You aren't even hurt. What? Uh, but they said that you uh, and three jacks were... Hey, what's she doing on the ground? I'm alive and three jacks is dead. And the end of a long trail for me, senores. While Bill again, you butt in. Don Patrick, I thought I heard another shot over mine. You shot him too? See, si. I am on Three Jack's trail for a long time. Well, I suspected you were a lawman, Don Patrick. But I wasn't sure till you gave me that break tonight when I was supposed to be shot. And uh, when you accidentally dropped a gun near me. Oh, so that was it, huh? <laughs> you, uh, you suspicion me, Senor Cassidy? <laughs> You have two pinholes in your shirt, Don Patrick, right where a star would hang. Did you warn the town? Oh, no, no, not me, senor. It was the kid. When he had time to think about your talk, he had the change of heart. Ah. I saw it and persuaded him to set the trap. But, uh, who is the masked three jacks? I must remove the hood. That's Weepy, the bartender. Didn't you catch the giveaway? Weepy? Uh, why, it is him. It was the shotgun. Only one man to have one of those in a town like Lance would be the bartender. And two, Weepy has mighty timely spells of sickness to cover his absence. See, see, oh, I am the idiot. Yeah? <laughs> well, it came out fine. The kid all right? See, si. he stayed in town after warning them. He will meet you there. Oh, that's good. You know his dad's going to be mighty proud of him. Did, uh... Did you get a uh, Schofield? Uh, Senor Schofield and I finally had our knife contest, Wild Bill. Uh, he cheated me, the big thief. How? Oh. I won. But he was too dead to pay his honest debt. Uh, I'm desolate. <laughs> oh, that's too bad, Don Patrick. Well, California, you had enough action? Have I? Hoppy, when we get back to the bar 20, the only action I'm going to have is penny ante stud games. <laughs> and you know what? The first fella that yells he's got three jacks, I'm going to shoot him on general principle. <laughs> so the bloodthirsty masked bandit known as Three Jacks turned out to be Weepy the bartender. Next time we meet Hoppy spins a tale about a romantic adventure concerning a beautiful Spanish senorita. 
So be sure to hear Hopalong Cassidy's next exciting story titled The Devil's Drum. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Land of the Gunhawks was written by Herb Purdom. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>